Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Keely and I am a soon to be third time mom. I am 36 weeks along. I will show you guys my bump. Here it is. I'm expecting my third daughter. Three girls, I know. <laughs> I cannot wait though. So today I'm going to be doing a what's in my hospital bag video. Yeah, I know, I know you will always be the But it's going to be more of what I packed in my hospital bags video um, because I am an overpacker. So I packed a bag for baby. I packed a bag for me. And then I packed a cozy bag full of cozy things. I will show you guys in a little bit. So even though I overpacked in my defense, these bags like are pretty small and they don't really hold that much. And I really did try and limit the amount of stuff that I brought because this is my third baby. I basically know how this goes um, and what they give you. The hospital does give you a lot of stuff, so keep that in mind. So first, I packed like a little toiletry bag and this is in my bag right here. I just put it in like the front pocket, this slip pocket right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. I put it in there. So I brought some dry shampoo. I brought shampoo and conditioner. I don't really wanna like take everything out of here because it was kind of hard to zip this up um and then I brought some what is that called what is that called oh my gosh I can't think right now pregnancy brain um detangler so when I was in the hospital and you're laying in that hospital bed for so long like I would always get the biggest rat's nest in my hair I'm like playing with my hair thinking about it um it was just awful um <laughs> So this time I'm making sure to bring my detangler because I didn't last time and I regretted it because hospital doesn't have detangler there that I know of. Um, so yeah, I bought little shampoo and conditioner travel size bottles. Oh my gosh, they like match my nails. That's so funny because I always only take like one shower when I'm there. So these will be more than enough for one shower. It's just a pain bringing like the bigger size bottles. I brought a travel size toothpaste and toothbrush. Um, I bought one for my husband too, so I think I have two in here, but I got these at Target. Literally, I think like two for a dollar, so I was like, score. And then I brought some makeup wipes, and then I bought a travel size bottle of body wash, and I just put my own body wash in here. I'll also be bringing a makeup bag, but that'll be like one of my last minute items that I like grab and throw in my bag because I'm still using that. And then I'm also going to be bringing an extra large charging cable for my iPhone um, when the time comes. I ordered a couple of them on Amazon, but you want like a 10 foot charging cable because sometimes the hospital beds like will have an outlet behind them or there'll be another one around the room and you want a very long one so that it can reach the bed that you're going to be delivering baby on. Now let's get into the bag. So I have like these little pockets in here oh everything's like falling out i have a bunch of pockets in this bag it's really nice so in these little pockets or compartments whatever you want to call them um i brought some nipple balm and then i brought some herbal dietary supplement after ease for pregnancy so in my opinion every single child that i have like my after birth contractions like when i'm breastfeeding and just like in general sometimes you'll like get contractions still like after you give birth which sucks but anyways they got worse with every single kid i've only had two um <laughs> but i've heard that they get worse with every single child and last time when I had my second daughter, I would like cry and scream. They hurt so bad. So my best friend, Emma, recommended 
this stuff and she actually bought me this bottle how sweet of her to try because she said these are amazing during those contractions oh my gosh you guys they were so painful so i brought deodorant i'm so mad i didn't buy a travel size one but this is the only one i can tolerate right now which is their unscented one i don't think they make the unscented one in the travel size so i'm bringing that i'm also bringing some vaseline don't forget chapstick or like vaseline or lip balm because that would suck if your lips were chapped every single time i give birth my lips get really chapped for some reason and that would suck if you didn't have any i bet the hospital might have some but i'm not 100 percent sure um so now i'm going to show you guys all my clothes i'm bringing so this is a nightgown i got from target it's super soft i'm packing this set that i also got from target as like a little like comfy lounge set or pajamas whatever you want to call it and then it comes with um pants as well some matching pants these are so soft you guys so this is what i plan to be wearing um when i'm like taking pictures of mason after baby is born and maybe after i take a shower um this shirt right here it's super cute i might even wear it um before i get my like dress on and start labor i honestly i don't know i just wanted to wear that in pictures so i'll have to find a time to wear this really cute mama shirt for pictures i also got this shirt as well and i think these are from aspen and co or aspen and company um they're so cute i'm like obsessed with mama shirts um and then my next shirt you're never gonna guess what it says <laughs> girl mama i'm gonna wear this when i'm coming home and then i'm gonna get a picture with all three of my girls if i remember or if i'm up for it i'll probably not even like be up for pictures honestly but i brought these because i'm an overpacker and think like well maybe just in case i need this that's why i'm an overpacker because like i'm like well maybe just in case i need this and then this is just like a lounge like shirt very comfy so that's all the clothes i brought um just kidding um i brought three pairs of leggings one of them is like a brand new pair and i haven't even unwrapped it so i'm just gonna unwrap it if i need it but i really tried not to overpack i'm honestly surprised i only packed like three outfits last time i think i packed like 10 <laughs> um, because i couldn't decide what i wanted to wear i forgot a pocket in here and I packed hair brushes. So I brought a travel size one and a big one because last time I brought a brush and I lost it. So this time I wanted to have two. I don't know how I lost the brush, but I did. Um, is that everything in here? That might be everything, guys. I was gonna pack like my nursing bras in here and stuff too, um, but it wouldn't fit. <laughs> it's like completely full. Okay, gonna zip this on up. And that bag is ready to go. It's so cute. I'm obsessed with this bag. Maybe I'll link it down below for you guys. I forgot exactly what it's called, to be honest. So now what's in my cozy bag, I'll share it with you guys. Um, so first, I packed this mirror. I like watched so many like what's in my hospital bag videos because I wanted to pack literally everything that I thought was a good idea. And someone mentioned like bringing a mirror. So sometimes you're like stuck in your hospital bag when you have the epidural and um when you have that like iv and when you have like the iv attached to your arm you don't really want to get up and go to the bathroom just to do your makeup so i brought this little mirror i've already used it a couple times in the shower <laughs> when i'm shaving down there and i can't see it i can't see it anymore so I'll like use this mirror down there to help me shave. So this mirror is great for multiple different things when you are pregnant and about to give birth. And I got this mirror for only $5 at Target. Definitely worth it. <laughs> and then I threw this in there. And this is my fake lashes because I want to wear these um, in the pictures if I even have time to do my makeup. Oh my gosh, do these come with... Um, the eyelash glue or no oh my gosh i don't think they do so now i'm gonna have to find my eyelash glue next i brought so the hospital gives you these um these are like their diapers or whatever um they're not the same brand these are the always brand 
but I brought two just in case I find these comfier. I honestly don't remember what the hospital ones feel like or look like. I brought fuzzy socks. Make sure to bring fuzzy socks because they are amazing, you guys. I needed a water break. <laughs> um, speaking of that, um, I would recommend bringing like a water bottle, a reusable water bottle, um, a pretty big one. But my hospital gives me like a reusable water bottle, so I didn't bring one. So next, I'm bringing this Freedom Mom ice pack. I know the hospital gives you these as well, but last time I actually had to ask for a couple more because I used them and liked them so much. So this time if I go home and I like want an extra one, I will have one. This was my absolute favorite thing um, postpartum. So you just like crack it and it's literally like an ice pack for your vagina and <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. Um, so I bought a ton of those. They're actually in my like little postpartum setup that I made. So next I packed like three nursing bras. It's so weird, I'm gonna be breastfeeding again. But you're definitely gonna want those. And then I brought my super thick, comfy, cozy robe. And that's why I like needed this whole other separate bag is because it's so big and it takes up like this whole bag. So in my defense, I didn't really overpack that much. And then I'm planning to like stash some snacks in here as well, um, cause I still have quite a little bit of room in here. But a lot of videos that I watch people pack snacks and someone actually packed like lactation cookies, which I thought was so genius um, to help like milk production. So I'm gonna go to Target and buy a bunch of little snacks and like lactation snacks to help my milk come in. And then I think I'm gonna buy the body armor drinks as well. If you guys know what those are, those like really help increase milk production as well. So I'm gonna pack a couple lactation snacks and then regular snacks um, for Mason and I. Um, Mason's probably gonna eat the snacks more than I will because I'm gonna get that but all. So now for the fun part, the baby's bag. I'm so excited to share with you guys what I'm bringing for a baby. So first I packed like this little portable changing pad. I think this came with a bag actually. Then I brought my mom cozy portable um, breast pumps. Um, these are awesome, you guys, and they're honestly very affordable. I love Mom Cozy's products. They're amazing and they're super affordable compared to like the other pump on the market, which I think is like the Willow or the LV. I think they run for like a few hundred dollars, but I really, really, really like these and I've tested them out. Um, obviously, I didn't make any milk, but I really like these and I cannot wait to use them. Um, I don't know if I'll be using them in the hospital to be honest, but I just wanted to bring them since they're like so small anyways. And like if baby's sleeping and like my boobs feeling gorged or like I feel like I need to pump, um, then I can use these. I'll probably only be making colostrum, but in case like I just do feel the need to pump and try and stimulate more and stimulate more action on these babies because <laughs> I want to produce as much milk as possible in the beginning for babies. So sometimes when baby isn't eating, I'll just be pumping butt. But I don't know. I really don't know if I'll use those or not. And then I packed a blanket for the baby. This is super cute and simple. And then I packed some burp rags. Hopefully this is enough. I packed three. I think most people pack only like one or two or three. But my last baby had reflux, so she spit up um, all the time. And I literally went through like 20 of these every single day. It was ridiculous. So I'm praying that this baby is not a spit up baby like my last one. And then I brought some hand sanitizer just to stay clean around the baby. And then I brought some little baby booties, some socks. I brought, I think one pair of socks, no, two pairs of socks for the baby, a long sock and a regular sock and some mittens so the baby doesn't scratch herself. Usually the mittens just fall off and they're kind of like a waste, but I just brought them. And then I packed this really cute long sleeve onesie, very simple, and it has like the built-in mittens. These are so much better because they actually stay on um, rather than those mittens that fall off. So I packed one of these and I packed long sleeves because it's gonna be probably cold. And then I packed this just in case. Oh my gosh, I literally forgot to pack swaddles. I just realized that, but I'll grab some. Um, and then this is going to be the baby's announcement outfit, I believe. 
um, right here, her name announcement and birth announcement photo. So cute. And then I brought this as like a comfy coming home outfit. It has cute little rainbows on it. I love this. These are both from Spearmint Baby. And then this right here has her name on it. I'm debating if I'm going to do this as a name announcement. And then I brought a couple of cute pacifiers for her. Who knows if she'll even take them. My babies literally only took their pacifiers for the first week, both of my girls. So I doubt this baby will even take passies um, past the first week. And then I also brought some water wipes. I think my hospital literally gave me water wipes last time as well, but I'm not sure if every hospital, what wipes they do. I just really like these water wipes because newborns have very sticky black tar poop and it's really hard to wipe. And these like are the most wet. And the next thing I brought were her bows to go with her outfits. So I brought this adorable little white one. These are also from Spearmint Baby as well. They are just so stinking cute. I think they're like head wraps. I don't know if they're considered bows or head wraps, but I love them and they are so soft. And then this one as well. Um, and then I brought this little passy clip just in case I want to strap this on the car seat. So that is everything that I packed in the baby's bag. Um, this feels like so surreal. Like now that my bags are packed, like holy cow, it's hitting me. Like our baby is going to be here so soon. I am so excited. So I'm going to read my list here to see if there's anything else I forgot besides swaddles so I can throw them in here. I am going to be bringing a white noise machine. Um, I had to play white noise on my phone for both of my daughters for them to sleep and they still to this day sleep with white noise. So I'm going to be making sure to bring a white noise or a sound machine um, to drown the noise out. And then what else the car seat I'm bringing and a car seat cover I need to throw that in there and then snacks like I said face wash I have my face wash sitting in the car so I need to throw that in there um my camera and my camera batteries for sure my own pillow and bath towel my straightener my blow dryer and my curling iron when the time comes um, but like I said, I'm still using these products, so I'm not going to be bringing them just yet. And that is everything. Nope. Just kidding. Slippers. Um, I wear my slippers like every day. So that's everything I'm going to be bringing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to show you guys my postpartum cart really quick. Cause I think that you guys will really like it and might be useful to some of you guys. So let me show you guys that. So I wanted to show you guys this cart. I just finished setting it up. So this is my postpartum recovery station. I got this idea from my best friend, Maddie. <laughs> um, so I did put my pump up here. I'm gonna be putting some of my like pumping supplies. I'm like washing them right now. The rest are gonna go in here. And then I have a ton of postpartum essentials, including my peri bottle. I've heard amazing things on this compared to like the normal hospital one. I put a couple of the baby's diapers up here just in case. I have my instant ice max pads, my diapers. <laughs> I have a couple different brands. And then this is like a lactation massager. And then I'm just stocked up on diapers and ice packs since I told you guys that I love these so much. So I'm just gonna put this in my bathroom right there when the time comes so that I can sit there and <laughs> grab from my little cart here. So I forgot to show you guys my daughter's backpacks that I packed for them. These have two days worth of clothes in them. So they are ready to go. Everything fit in there. Surprisingly, they hold a lot of stuff. So these are all ready. And then my husband's, so there are my bags, my husband's bag, and then we're going to put the baby's car seat in the car in just a minute too. Here's my slippers I wear every day. <laughs> These are going to be coming with me as well. So Mason just installed the baby's car seat in the car. 
So my four-year-old's gonna sit in the middle, my two-year-old's gonna sit here. And the reason we did it like that is because our four-year-old is going to have to climb in and buckle herself in. She knows how to buckle herself. And then I'll have to strap, and then I'll have to strap my two-year-old here, and then our newborn baby will go right there. Since I drive, she'll be on the driver's side. So, so. he can take her out, and then I can sit here yeah. and look at her from the passenger seat yeah. so I still have to put the camera because there's no way we could put the baby in the middle we would no, there would no be way. no way <laughs> no possible way so this is the setup I can't believe it's in the car you guys look at it oh my gosh okay guys that concludes today's video I hope you guys enjoyed because you will always be there